In the last video clip, we solved this same pair of equations by eliminating x. We are still using the elimination method to solve simultaneous equations. I will say that we are going to solve the same equation this time around eliminating y. So let's get down to that. Now if I'm going to eliminate y, my focus will now be on the coefficients of y both in equation 1 and equation 2. I can see that the coefficient of y in the first equation is minus 2, and the coefficient of y in the second equation is 4. So I'm going to multiply the whole of equation 1 by the coefficient of y in equation 2, and that is 4. And I'm going to multiply equation 2 by the coefficient of y in the first equation, and which is 2. Some, some other person can use may decide to use minus 2. It doesn't matter. If I multiply equation 1 by 4, that will give me 4 times 5x will give me 20x. As I'm multiplying equation 1 now, 4 times minus 2y will give me minus 8y. And then 4 times 16 will give me 64. So that's it for the first step. Next, I'll multiply equation 2 by 2. 2 times 3x will give me 6x. And 2 times 4y will give me 8y. And then 2 times minus 6 will give me minus 12. If you like, you can call this equation 3. If you like, you can call this equation 4. Now you can see our objective. We want to eliminate y. You can see that we now have the coefficients as 8, 8 in both sides. Do they have different signs? Let's not bother ourselves with that for now. The most important thing is that we have been able to make the coefficients of y in both equations to be the same, 8. So that's what we have there, minus 8y plus 8y. What next? We have to throw y now out. And how do I do that? You may be considering doing equation 3 minus equation 4. And some of you might be looking at doing equation 4 minus equation 3. But I'll tell you something. If you try any one of these, both of them will not be able to eliminate Y. The reason being that they have different signs. One is positive and the other is negative. If I do equation 3 minus equation Y, my Y will become minus 8y minus 8y and that will be minus 16y and i've not eliminated y and if i do equation 4 minus equation 3 i will have 8y in equation 4 and then minus minus 8y and that will give me 16y positive at the end of the day when you have a situation like this you want to eliminate a particular variable of course you have been able to make the coefficients to be the same when you have different signs one is positive and one is negative do not subtract Rather, simply operate equation 3 plus equation 4. When you do that, you're going to have 20x plus 6x, and that will give me 26x. And when I say minus 8y plus 8y, then they will cancel out and give you 0y. And you can now go straight and say this is 64 plus minus 12. That will be give us, that will be 64 plus, mind you, minus 12. That is like, say, 64 minus 12, and what that will give us what? That is um, 52. So we have 26x equals to 52. So please take note, equation 3 plus equation 4, not subtraction because they don't have the same signs. You only subtract when the two of them have the same signs. And that's why most people prefer eliminating x because most of the time, the terms that come up first will always have positive, positive. But the second one, you cannot guarantee of having positive for both of them or negative for both of them. In a situation where you have one being negative, the other being positive, simply add up the two equations if that's the one you want to eliminate. So now we have 26x equal to 52y. So that's what we did here. Add equation 3 to equation 4. And we have 26x equals to 52. And of course, our x will be equal to what? 52 divided by 26 and that gives you 2 so our x is equal to 2 
Now we know the value of x. What about y? Well, go back to equation 1 or equation 2. Substitute the value of x into any one of the equations. And then you'll be able to get the value for equation 1. So we have here, substituting x, which is 2, in equation 1. And this is our equation 1. 5x minus 2y equals to 16. Here we place the value of x there, which is 2. So 5 times 2 will give us 10. 10 minus 2y equals to 16. Rearranging this, we have minus 2y equals to 16 minus 10. And then playing this out, 16 minus 10 gives you 6. So your y equals to 6 divided by minus 2, which gives us minus 3. The same thing we obtained, take note, when we eliminated x. So it doesn't matter which of the variables you decide to eliminate. You will always arrive at the same answers. Well, for you to try out something using the elimination method, I have two questions for you. Try your hands and solve the following simultaneous equations. After which, I think the next video clip will be looking at the substitution method.